Hi, my name is Akriti Gupta and this is Comp 1 to 5 Summer 2020 Final Exam. Uh, my student number is 30110 and the course name is Client Side Web Development. So this final exam was about a project named the Dice Roller uh, created using CreateJS TypeScript and HTML Canvas container. So let's go to the game. So this is how it looks. Uh, I'll open the console and all the three functions as so a preload function, start function and main function has been loaded. So let's start uh, rolling. So as we can see, these labels, dice labels are uh, as per the pictures, images, and this is the result, uh, addition of both. So as soon as we rolled here, it's low, uh, roll button clicked. And as we roll, uh, it will calculate and it will show the labels and the result as such. Uh, then uh, if we want to start over, then there's a start over button click. I again then start rolling and roll button will be counted again. So this is the result and again, yes, rest everything. This is a random number generated. Start over and again. So uh, I'll move to my code now. So this is how it looks. So first of all, uh, in the in the function, uh, there's the game variable declarations, uh, the canvas stage and assets. There are the labels, labels which we have seen, dice labels and the result label. Uh, two buttons I've inserted: roll button and the start over button two images of dice that is dice images uh, and a background image uh, then uh, this is a type of an array which is created which consists of id and the source of from where the from where all the images have been taken it consists of the ids and the path this is a preload function uh, this actually uh, helps the uh, helps all the assets to manifest and then it helps to load them so then uh, after preload preload function there is a start function which actually uh, initializes uh, the create js library and it is loaded as soon as the preload function gets over uh, and this function update is function is triggered every frame and this function is then erased and redrawn so Next is a function that I've created. It's a generate random. It will generate using matter It will generate the random numbers that we have already seen in the uh, main game uh, assi assignment. Then uh, there's a main function where all the functionality of the uh, game uh, is, lies here. So uh, if I talk about game uh, background, these are the buttons. These are all added. Uh, but a uh, roll button start of a button then the roll button when it is clicked there is the number generation uh, so I took two numbers and these are generated randomly and then the result is added uh, so this is all uh, I have actually uh, added uh, the, uh, the stage dot remove child it will remove all the previous dice rollings and the labels and will uh, uh, for shows it shows the results uh, after uh, we add the images and stuff. So this is now uh, adding the images and this is now adding the labels, results label, dice labels, and my dice uh, labels. Okay, so this is this is when uh, whenever the uh, roll button is clicked. So this is under that. So outside that in the main function we have uh, we have i've added the dice images uh, to for beginning the game so i have this start thing in the beginning as we have already seen uh, this is start thing this the start labels uh, images uh, so it 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 will uh, in the main function uh, if the roll button is not pressed so if the start over button is pressed it will show that start over button is clicked and then again it will go to this begin game uh, dice images in which we have seen the start uh, is written so yes this is uh, about my uh, assignment thank you very much